Good day guys, welcome back to your to the to your favourite part of your day, my weekly upload. I'm back in my uni house and it is absolutely freezing, hence the hence the hat. It's gonna be minus five this week and the boiler is currently broken and there is no hot water, so should be interesting. And anyway, I've been in my been in my white girl era today. I'm drinking a Starbucks. You know, not not now, obviously, but I was drinking one later. So yeah, um, without further ado, the theme of today's video is sleep. How important is sleep, and should you track it? So for like six six months now, I've been wearing a I've been wearing a Whoop to to track my sleep. It's very reliable. It tells you like the your REM sleep, your deep sleep, your light sleep. And then it tells you how recovered you are for the day. So it'll tell you if like your body is prepared for a really hard workout or just like a moderate one, or if you need a rest day. I mean, I think it's useful. It's nice to know that you've had enough sleep. It's reassuring that you can see the exact minute you fall asleep and waking up. So if you're a bit like obsessed about it like me, then, you know, it's just nice to have that reassurance of like, yeah, okay, I've had a good sleep. Now I can go and attack the day. You can also track your workouts on it. Um, obviously running, it's not as good for running. It only tracks your heart rate. It doesn't track like the kilometer, like your pace per kilometer or anything. So it's best to kind of double part yourself and have a have a watch and, and a whoop. But yeah, it's good for sleep. It's good for, it's good for bodybuilding workouts because obviously you can put in, you choose like the exercise, you choose the amount of reps, and then you put in the weight and then afterwards it'll give you like a strange score for how strenuous the workout was. Could you have gone harder? Did you go to a good extent? Uh, and obviously it's a good way of tracking your progress. That's why it's important, I think, to track what you weigh. No, to track the weights you've been lifting as you're lifting them, because then hopefully we'll see progress over time. So it's like you can you can pick one and then you know, next week you'll have another one and you know, hopefully you'll be able to see progress. And it's very easy to forget as you're doing it, you know, reps and reps and weights lifted. So it's good to, you know, keep a tally of it, I think. It also has a feature where it explores like the effect things have on your recovery. So obviously alcohol, very bad, you know, low sleep, bad, illness, bad then tracks the good things. I mean, I've found that as useful because most of it's pretty obvious, like you don't need to, to be told that, you know, a lot of alcohol or low sleep will make you feel bad, but it's what it is. I guess the main criticism I'd have for it is, do you really need something telling you if you're a code or not? Like what is a, what is a little band to tell you, you know, how hard you should be going on the workout? Like obviously it's backed by science, but I don't know if it's gonna let weakness in like, if you wake up feeling good and then you see you've got like an average recovery, you might go, oh, maybe I should take it easy today. But then, you know, if, if you're feeling good, you're feeling good, right? I'm sure the whoop can't tell exactly how you've been feeling. But yeah, I mean, oh, it tracks your stress as well. So it tracks how stressed you are during the day. I guess it's fairly interesting, but I don't know. Again, you know if you're stressed or not. Right, or maybe maybe that's just me. I think I intend to keep on wearing it. As you say, I like the reassurance that, you know, I've got good sleep, I check it, I'm like, okay, my sleep's good, let's go and attack the day. And it kind of keeps me in the toes, because you're thinking like, oh, you know, I should have a rest day, and then but you've got like a green recovery, all the stats are good, it's like, okay, maybe I should go and go and attack the day then. So I think I like it for those reasons, but would I say it's essential? Probably not. I think as long as you're aware that, you know, you should try and maintain a regular sleep schedule, go to bed the same day, the same time every day, and then wake up at the same time every day. I think that's the main thing. And obviously just general health, fitness goals. And obviously it's quite trendy to have one. So I think in summary, I'd say it's nice to have one. You know, if you've got the money, if you, you know, want that reassurance to you know, everything's in order, I'd get one, but yeah, I don't think it's essential at all. 
yeah that's for my yeah my my fitness planning i'm still yeah deciding what my weekly plan is going to look like um yeah i don't know if i should keep running every day i think maybe maybe like one rest day a week do i switch it up a bit of swimming so there's less impact on the legs obviously i want to get some weightlifting in there as well but i need to remind myself that's not the focus running is the focus you know it's okay to be bad at weightlifting for a bit so yeah that was the video today hope you enjoyed if you've got any thoughts, feel free to share them in the comments. Goodbye.